How's it going everybody? I'm IGP and welcome to Let's Play Soma. This game is developed by Frictional Games, the same creator of the Penumbra and the Amnesia series. Now this one is a first person sci-fi horror that takes place at the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean. Now if you guys are familiar with Frictional's work, you know that a lot of what they do is inspired by HP Lovecraft. I mean even the engine that they use to run these games is called HPL Engine. Now what I can gather about the theme or the idea behind the game is that it's heavily inspired inspired by Lovecraft's more popular theme about the idea of a single person or a group of people attaining a mass superior knowledge that they probably weren't meant to have. And that ends up leading to the destruction mentally or physically of that person or peoples. And in this one it seems like they're exploring the idea of maintaining life after the death of the human body and keeping it preserved in machines. Now that's pretty much all I could gather. I didn't want to spoil any more for myself because I love playing these games blind. And if you guys want to check it out for yourself, links will be in the description below. Now if you guys want to see a no commentary version so that way you don't have to worry about seeing my stupid face or hearing my stupid voice, be sure to check down in the description. I'll have a link to a video accompanying this one without any commentary. Alright, so enough rambling. Let's go ahead and and just get started with Soma. Are you okay, Simon? I think you're bleeding. Oh, that, that's nothing. It's just my brain can't stop bleeding from the accident. Here, take this. No, that, that's for later, for the scan. It's green. Ashley, I need to tell you something. Simon, please don't make this weird. No, no, it's not like that. Why now? Who's David Lynch? Why is there never enough time? For what? Christ. Yeah, I'm up. Hi, Simon Jarrett? Yeah, that's me. My name is David Munchie. We spoke earlier. The brain scan. I remember. Are you all right? Yeah, yeah, just a bad dream. Are, are we still on for today? Yeah, that's why I'm calling. I wanted to remind you to drink the tracer fluid I sent you. It'll help me capture a better image of the damages. Don't worry, I, I, I got it somewhere. Okay, great. Well, I'll see you in a couple of hours then. Okay, see you soon. All right. Well, that was a neat little setup in the form of a dream. Hints to move around. Yeah, I know how to move around. That's pretty standard. Okay, so here's what we're looking at. This looks nice. So I'm assuming it's gonna be... I'm like the beginning... The fluid? But, oh, shit. What is that noise? Oh, that's cool. Someone's playing loud music and it's causing my oven to rattle around. That's neat. Can I get that to stop, please? No? Oh, well, that's gonna be annoying. Anyway, um, yeah, I think it's setting it up to where I'm gonna be the beginning of, like, the whole idea. It kind of reminds me... Radioactive tracer fluid, where are you? Yeah, let's go ahead and try to find that. It kind of reminds me of the idea behind, like, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. In a sense that it's very modern, nothing's really different about everything. Um, oh. Ooh. Summer's coming. Hope it's a good one. Me too, buddy. That looks be- God damn it. That looks beautiful. Oh, there's something in there. I can't throw it. Anyway, yeah, so, uh, it, it reminds me of that movie in a sense of, like, it being very modern. Uh, nothing really is too different except for the fact that they have this technology to erase parts of your memory, if I recall that movie correctly. Um, kind of like a Neuralizer from Men in Black. I know I'm mixing up movies here, but you know what I mean. You get the gist of it. Shut up, dude. Turn that music down. I need to turn on some lights. Can I do that? Oh, God, yes. This is beautiful. This is really well done. It's very strange to see this, uh, the guys pull off, like, this modern look. It's just weird, because Penumbra was, like, in a different location, and Nisha was way back in the day. This one's kind of like, I'm in a house. Like, my bedroom. Like, a decorated, modern bedroom. I don't know. Let's listen to some voicemails, huh? Hey, Simon, Seems he's blinking. Hey, Jesse. You working this weekend, or what? I knew there was something you were doing. Was it this weekend? Or next? Anywho, just shoot me a mail or something. Love you, Miss you mean it. End of Aww. I swear, that guy has the memory of a goldfish. I even sent an email to remind him, didn't I? 
Did you? I don't know. Let's check your computer. Can we do that? Oh, no way. Okay, uh, we got two emails. Oh, it's a draft. Yeah, we didn't do it. Okay, so hi, Jesse. Oh, I Said you forgot to hit send. Uh, Says you probably forgot. Here's me reminding you that you've got, or that I've got a doctor's appointment tomorrow. I am not coming into work. Uh, this means you need to make sure you're actually on time to open up the store. And please unpack the boxes behind the counter. They're starting to become a workplace hazard. Also, books tend to sell much better if they are put on shelves where people are actually able to see them. Good luck, and you'll need it. Let's send that anyway. Better That's late awesome. Than never. Right on. Okay, so my inbox says here from David Munchie, Thank you again for participating in our research. The scan will be performed at the PACE Laboratories in Toronto, but since we are guests, our access is a bit unpredictable. I will try to schedule a scan session for Saturday. I'll get back to you when confirmed. Sincerely, David Munchie. Oh, I see. So I'm literally the guinea pig or part of a experiment to this whole idea of uh, preserving life in robots. I think that's what it is anyway. I don't know. But I'm assuming I'm the first guy. From Dr. Aaron Peak, Dear Mr. Jared, I'm happy to hear your headaches have become less frequent. Your latest tests show your brain is slowly recovering, but it's still too early to tell how well it will adjust to the damage. The bleeding will continue over the coming months at least, and you will need to come to the hospital a few times to drain the cavity to prevent the blood from building up pressure. Since excessive stress could be fatal, I have written you a prescription for Prazosin to help you with your nightmares. I don't know if that's a real... Pharmaceutical drug. Please read the instructions and medicate accordingly. Try to get lots of rest, and I will see you next week. Sincerely, Dr. Aaron Peake. Okay. Neat. Yeah, so it's actually very modern. If you haven't noticed, it's, you know, dated in 2015. That's actually kind of crazy. We got a little Photoshop thing going here. That's pretty cool. How do I get out? Right click. Okay. Excellent. So now I'm... Pr wow. So I can scan over all this stuff. So bear with me, guys. This game is going to be an exploration game. Probably first for me because I love finding out the story. I love seeing kind of the background. Um, I'm not that good at deciphering it, but it's still fun. I'm assuming that's me and Ashley, which was in my nightmare. Uh, Pace Lab, St. Mary, HPTL, Aaron Peak. Okay. Uh, let's see what else we got. Rob McConnell, meet and greet book signing. Grimoire. Where have I seen that? I just saw that somewhere, right? Where did I see that? I thought I saw that somewhere. Never mind. Okay, what else we got here? My feet in the sand. Excellent. Oh, what's this? Get well soon. Love, mom. View to oh. Oh, okay. So I can read people's cursive. Except I can't read that one. I'd love to be able to read that one. Um. Okay, that's it over here. Oh, there it is. Grimoire right there. That's where I thought I saw it. Okay. Open the door. What are we looking at here? The bathroom. Great. This is what I wanted to be in. Can I... Oh, oh, there we go. Brute. Uh, let's see. Opening this up. Nothing here. Something's leaking. I hear water leaking. Nothing scary here. Okay, so where would this uh, tracer fluid be exactly? I don't know. Mapping Minds, Albert Isaacson. Okay, yeah, we're definitely looking at a game where we're about to get into some serious shit, and we have no idea, and I'm the first person! Yay! All right, watching oh. TV gives me headaches now. Thank you, brain. Does it? That's kind of crazy, actually. Uh, light. Turn that on. I really can't watch anything? That sucks. Massive recoil. Total recall, huh? Alright, uh... Where is the tracer fluid? Where would I have put that? Fridge, maybe? Uh, nothing here. Okay, just mail. Turn on? Oh, wait. Leave that on. What's that? Okay. So, a lot of exploration here. Nothing but fast food. I should buy something healthier on my way home. Yeah, maybe. So, it's not in here. Where would I have put it? To do. Remind Jesse, pick up meds, flowers for funeral. <laughs> Okay, cool. Where did I put the damn tracer fluid? What is this? Oh, nice. Okay. A little coffee stuff. What's this one? A bug. Neat. So I don't know how that ties in, but, you know. Drawer. Nothing in it. Okay. Let's read that. Summer blockbusters. Okay. Huh, okay, maybe just leave, I guess? I can't find the tracer fluid. I imagine I would have had it somewhere accessible. I should drink the tracer fluid. Oh, come I on! Dr. Munchie. Yeah, well, where did you put it? Okay, I'm trying to find it. There it oh, is. there it is. Hello. 
Okay, so use an object you have acquired, press left click when the item is displayed on screen. Okay, let's drink this thing. I think it's not a good idea, but, you know, let's do it. Feels like milk, but the taste, it's like sucking on a penny. Yeah, well, that's the poison going through your bur your brain right now. That you're gonna die from eventually. Alright, let's leave. Leave on all the lights because fuck electricity. We're on our way. Oh, hello. <laughs> it's as good. As good. Coffee. Lots of advertisements. God damn it, that scared me. Answer your phone, please. Aw. Answer. Jesse. Hey, Simon. I got your email. Just wanted to wish you good luck and let you know I got you covered. Thanks. I should be able to come to the store after this scan. Don't sweat it. I got Matt and Chris helping me out. Matty from SNL? Uh, guess you didn't hear. He's coming in full time. Work in the comic section. That's Ashley's job. Yeah. Well. Forget it. Not doing her any favors by leaving an empty spot. Not like she's coming back. Well, good luck. Hope they find a way to reverse the whole, you know, dying thing. <laughs> dying thing? You're the worst support ever. <laughs> what should I say? I'll see you later, Jesse. Don't burn gonna... the place down while I'm gone. Over and out, buddy. I was gonna say, that's like the worst thing you could possibly say to this guy. Right now. I love the voice acting. The voice acting's really well done. I like that my character actually has a voice that he's gonna continuously talk with. Versus like, you know, like, uh... Daniel in, in Amnesia was more like, here and there he'll say stuff. Um, but that's pretty much it. He's actually communicating and having conversations. It's great. It's great. Okay. Let's see. Alright, so am I at the, uh... This is not Hello? sketch at all. Dr. Munchie? Lights, please. Thank you. Oh Where shit on my face! Look at that. Be busy. Okay. Um. Yeah. Totally. Look at this beautiful. This is not even finished. It's not even finished. I guess that's good. It's like brand new. It's not some old rinketing place. Oh no! Let's leave that on, please. I don't like it at all. Okay. Let's see here. All right. We got uh, Paul Dutberg at your Cuny. Dave Munchie, Paul, where are you? We've got a few hours. I gotta hold the Simon Jarrett. Let's do this. I saw your laptop in the reception. Are you already here? Call me ASAP. Uh, get your stuff ready. Hi, Paul. Talk to Pace about using the lab this week. I have managed to book the scanner for tomorrow morning and again on Friday. It's not a lot, but they said we could use the empty reception area as a kind of office. It would allow us to use their computers to run models and also, if a time slot opens up, we can get in there and use a scanner rig right away. I thought we could run some tests tomorrow. We could do a scan of each other to learn the equipment. It's supposed to be pretty easy. On Friday, I'm hoping Dr. Erin Peek will send somebody over. She has a patient that was recently in a car crash. She'd, yeah, that's my doctor. Okay. Since we're locked out. I found some extra time in the lab today. Unfortunately, nobody told us about the code change. So I called security, talked to Professor Y. We... Uh, to have him vouch for our project and finally got a hold of some honcho over at Pace's legal department that could regrant us permission to use the lab. Uh, I'm not allowed to repeat the code in mails or text, but I'll leave a note or something in case you forget. Okay, thank you for telling me. I'll find that code. Where is that code? Okay, so neat. So this is kind of like experimental. Experimental, experimental. It's not like doctors doing this. It doesn't seem like. It's just like, hey man, I made this stuff. Let's, uh... Let's see what's gonna happen when we do it. Okay, trial and error. Put your scalpel away. The brain can heal itself. The brain has an amazing transformative quality, a plasticity, that allows it to compensate and even heal itself, explains Paul Berg, a graduate student in neuroscience at York University in Toronto. It is this quality that Berg and his colleague David Munchie, a student of computer science, are hoping to encourage. It's about getting the brain to do the right thing, and we hope to accomplish this with simple things like exercise therapy and light medication. But Munchie and Berg are not looking for a miraculous panacea, panacea? It's about finding the optimal treatment for each patient. They start out recording something called a Nakajima neurograph. It's like a picture that indicates direction, says Munchie. Instead of a static brain scan, the neurograph can tell us where your brain is going. Okay, so this is, uh, this is the science behind what's going on. And, uh... 
That's very creepy. It's creepy because I already know from the trailers w what is going to happen. I mean, not in detail, but definitely the, uh, the what I see looks horrifying, and I don't want to. I don't want to be a part of it. I just don't. Oh, look at this beautiful place. This is neat. There's outdoor stuff done by Frictional. That's cool. Okay, let's see. Anything else I can explore? I don't like this. I don't know what's up there. I don't want to know. Okay, so there's a beach. Whoa. Calm down there, piggy. I heard you. This ain't no machine for pigs. Hot water. Cold water. Boop. All right, let's go ahead and go. This is the place. Oh, right? shit. I gotta find that code. Oh, here he is. Hello, that's you? Let's call let's him. Let's just call Machi real quick. Okay. Great. Got his phone turned off. Oh, shit. That's okay. I can figure this out. Yeah, of course. Let's, uh, let's do... Uh, where would you have put the, You put it on a sticky note or something? Put it on a You put a code somewhere. I looked in all the drawers. Did I? No, I didn't. Did I not? Here we go. Okay, page 56. Uh... 2501? Project technique. 2501, is that it? I don't know. 2501. I guess I can try it. Yeah! Woohoo! I got it. Ooh, what happened to that shadow? Shadow's kind of being displaced right now. That's cool. Press and hold shift while moving to run. Of course. I know how to do this. That's locked. Uh, nothing. Okay, nothing on here. Fire hose thing is locked. Ooh, first aid kit would help. Locked, though. I guess I gotta hit it with something. Wonder if I get weapons in this game. Probably not. In uh, frictional games, they love to do it where you're vulnerable as hell. Can't even read that. Probably because I have the texture setting a little bit lower, just because, you know, my PC. <laughs> it's my PC. Um, okay. What the hell is going on? Is there a scan going on right now? Can't read that stuff. Wow, I would love this setup. Look at that! That monitor setup, that's beautiful. Good lord, okay. Um... Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that being here. That just doesn't seem sa safe to me. Oh, shit. What's gonna be happening here? Okay, don't like that room already. I'm gonna go ahead and go over here to 364. Oh, hey! Oh, hi. Didn't hear you come in. Simon Jarrett, right? Dr. Munchie? Well, it's uh, just Mr. Munchie, but I'm working on it. <laughs> Actually, you're helping me right now. Is this part of your thesis work? Yeah. It's a study I'm doing with my colleague, Paul Berg. We hope to design a gentle way to work with brain reconstruction to help people like you. Oh, did you uh, take the tracer fluid? Yes. Yes, I did. Great. Well, we can start whenever you're ready. Oh, I'm ready, Freddy. I'm totally interested in what the fuck you're gonna drill into my head. There's a drill here. It doesn't look clean either. It looks like it's going to cause an infection. So, what exactly are we doing? We're gonna do a scan of your brain. Then we build a computer model of it and bombard it with stimuli. The program will help us to quickly iterate your treatment plan until it's fully optimized. In short, develop the perfect treatment for your condition. So it's not just a study, this will actually help me. Oh, I should hope so. Otherwise, this would be a huge waste of time. <laughs> well, not really. I mean, if you figure out that it could work... ...just by me volunteering, that'd be good. Alright, let's just sit down and say, fuck it, right? This is what's gonna happen. This is what's gonna happen. I'm scared, actually. Don't be doing that stuff now. Oh, God. All right. Let me just get this out of the way. You are Simon Jarrett, correct? Right. Toronto, Canada. David Munchie. Born 1988, July 16th. Right. Flat Neurograph, version 6. Good. All files in order. Will this hurt? It's just a scan. It'll hurt about as much as getting your picture taken. Indians thought cameras would steal their souls. That's so. Well, let's hope they're wrong. <laughs> Ready? Say cheese.
good god! That's not a normal scan. And this is the end of, uh... Everything. <laughs> this is the end of the- What happened? Oh. Jesus Christ. Hello? Mr. Munchie? I can't get up. Get up. Get up. Did Come something on. go wrong? Oh, man. Whoa, it is dark. I can't see. Do I get a flashlight this or something? This isn't funny. It's actually kind of nice to have him say what's right, being I'm thought. I'm not supposed to put myself in... Dude, I can't see anything. This is kind of stressing me out. Okay, nothing over here. There was something over here. Alright, let's just go. Hey! Wait. Anyone? Oh, Jesus Christ. What? What the hell is this place? How did I get here? Okay, now the shit started. The shit has officially begun. Service console. Service console inserts on the tool to access. Okay, I don't have that. Holy hell. Okay, so maybe I went into some kind of catatonic state or like a coma and, uh, and I wake up. Is that what's happening here? There is blood. That's definitely blood. Okay. Not finding this very uh, unlock terminal from service console, which I need something for. Okay. We're fine, guys. Jesus Christ. We're fine. No need to worry. I don't need that. <laughs> okay. Can I... What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Toolbox. Oh. Tool yeah, I can read that. Okay. Can't do anything here. Build, shape, and optimize your Omni tool with fully customized tools and assist. Okay. But where would I get one of these things? Do I just... Can I grab one of these suits? This looks like something from Subnautica. What the hell? Oh, God. What's happening? I hear, fl I hear noises. Okay. So we're definitely not... Uh oh, shit! Hi! Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Duh, I should have known that. Uh, let me get the chair. I know how this works. I don't- that's not gonna help me, okay? Alright. Excellent. Let's... Alright. Okay, this is absolutely terrifying right now. Holy shit. Okay, I'm just gonna take some time to explore a little bit. Ooh. Very futuristic. How long would I honestly have been out? Is this a time travel thing? It could be something to do with time travel. I don't know what that just did. Oh, okay. There we go. It's not locked anymore. It could be something to do with time travel. That's pretty common with, uh... These types of games and stories. Oh, shit. It's dark as hell. See, now, if I know anything about Frictional, there's gonna be some badass walking around. Trying to kill me in sort. Okay. I don't need that. Of course I can't see my damn reflection. I'm not allowed to. Open that. Oh, this is a toilet, is it? It's a toilet. Great. Okay, so we're definitely way far in the future. Actually, if I can get a hold of a terminal, I could probably check an email or something, or some kind of communication device. Oh, that's attractive. That's what I want to see. Let's, let's, let's walk in it, huh? Okay. Uh, yeah, I might be able to see what the date might be. Although, maybe they don't date things like that anymore in the future. Maybe they don't. Oh, I have no idea. Okay, moving forward. Let's open that. Bunch of trash, don't need. Okay, there's no light switch. There's no form other than that of light. Okay, so it came from over here. What is this? Okay, just air conditioning. Uh, let's check a... Can I open it? Nope. Okay. We're gonna go over here. Uh, yeah, of course. 
course, let's move that out of the way. Funny how I know how to do this stuff. Uh-oh. Okay, close the door, please. I'm already starting to get some kind of feedback here. Visual feedback. Nothing I can grab in here. It is entirely dark. I hope you guys will be able to see better than me. If not, of course, I will increase the brightness for you guys to be able to see, so you should have an issue. Oh, shit. You shouldn't have an issue seeing so, but also, if you see something that I don't end up seeing, it's probably because I can't see it. And the reason why you can see it- oh, Jesus Christ! Is because- Is because fucking- Dude, how is this brain not exploding right now? That just stressed the hell out of me. Yep. Okay, giant wally creature, I don't feel like- Okay. Just fuck it, Pathos 2. Okay, just move. Do it. Do it. Hey, you. Can you talk? Can you talk like the others? I don't think so. Why are you like this? You want some structure, Joe? Yeah, you do. So weird. Doesn't make any sense. Yeah, none of this is making sense, lady. Is that you talking? Jesus! Do that. No! Mother. Fuck. You. Okay. Is it gonna kill me? Okay, did it climb up? Where did it go? Oh, Jesus Christ! Okay! I wanna close the door, I wanna close the door. Oh, he busted through! Great! Is that him? Oh my god! What even is? What even is? That's not him, okay. Oh, uh, this is where he busted through though, this is great. So I can access more stuff. Oh man, okay, whoa, excuse me. Are you broken? I can't... Okay, someone opened the door. I am losing my shit right now. All these noises, I, I, I have no... I'm not. It's, it's what's weird about futuristic games is I'm not familiar with the sounds because in the future and they like to do these in these games is they add these different sounds, these mechanical sounds and stuff, and it's not really like something I'm familiar with. So the shitty thing is is I don't know what's good, what's bad. I mean I can take a guess, but again it's just be uh, just be a guess. Can I touch you too? Okay, that needs to be broken. Uh. Oh, Jesus Christ! No! Jesus Christ! Is he moving around already? Wow, Frictional, you guys went... went ham... right away. Alright, so if I crouch and move... I'm less likely to make noise. Which apparently attracts the bad guys. Which I would never have figured that one out. God damn it. I'm tired of having my heart skipping beats. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna have a heart attack playing one of these games. I can't see anything, dude. This is bad. I think it just might be my monitor. I should probably increase- <laughs> Okay, you should probably increase that. Is that bad? Is he busting through that or something? That sounds bad. Sounds like laughing to me. Okay, so when I see someone, it gets all staticky and glitchy. Neat. Very neat. Okay. Holy shit. Wanna open? Nope. I hear that thing walking around. Nope, not happening. Okay, nothing in here. What do we got here? I don't even know what any of this stuff is, honestly. But you know what? Fuck it, let's go. YOLO, right? Okay. Does this auto save? I hope it does.
Okay. Shh. Okay. So it's not someone walking around. It is just the sound of water dripping? Yeah, okay. Not water, but that sludge stuff. Excuse me? Do I get a flashlight at any point? I was told in the control menu that I could use a torch. Be nice to have one. Please. Please have a torch. Okay, what is this? <gasps> Yay, the Omnitool! Awesome! Omnitool. Tab to see the invent inventory. Let's take a look at that, huh? I don't know how to... How does one use that? I'm pressing tab, it's not doing anything. Okay. Alright, to upgrade your device, I know where to, I know where to bring that. So I know I'm, we're good on, we're good on that. There's a lot of noise. Okay, I don't know exactly what the Omni tool is for. I guess to to be able to hack the computer systems that runs this entire place. I can't wait for that thing to come out and scare me again. Where are you gonna be at? I got a key item in the game, and you're not even gonna jump out at me. All right, you'll be sorry. When you don't take advantage of the fact that I just did that. Okay, so that's not where I came. This is where I came from. So I need to go back to do this Omni Tool thing. Okay. Jesus, Lord. Omnitool, trying to use you, okay. Don't scare me now, please. I'd like to get in here. That's not the right place. I don't know what I'm, that's the bathroom. God damn it, I'm terrible. Oh, I have to go down here, don't I? Oh God, oh shit. Oh shit, oh please no, please no. Right, this is where I started. Yeah, here we go. Okay. Boop. I'm gonna go ahead and close that. Fuck you! And everything you stand for. Okay. Boop. Shh. Shh. Service console up to three, including pilot seat activated. Thank you. Okay, so what do I do here? System status. Uh, run setup warning remote access denied servers offline main power suspended. Okay, 13 days remaining Three progress operation available complete. Okay, I'm the tool Manage tool chip. Welcome back. Oh, that's Luis whoever that is uh, your Omnitool tool is in perfect condition But not fitted with a tool chip. I note that without your tool chip your FST kits will be unavailable including your cross-site security access to continue using your designated privileges please enter the tool chip okay I don't have one uh manage cortex chip your arm tool serves by an uh, helper Jane note that installing the cortex chip override the helper may severely alter your user experience toolbox orientation I know they told you that field technicians would get full access throughout pathos too I'm here to tell you that's not going to happen. Great. Don't get me wrong. I don't want to get in your way. We need you guys to keep this place up and running. But there needs to be at least some level of security on these things. <sighs> Man. I don't want to hear you barge into some quarantined area at Omicron and just knock out the whole place with some virus or whatever the hell they're doing over there. This is what you can do. You'll be able to use it to open doors. Basically all of them. If you can't, there's something wrong, or someone didn't want you in there. Then what do you do? You shove that Omni tool into a terminal and see if you can't get around it somehow. I mean, sometimes you'll need to get into places where you don't belong. Just find a way. You're an engineer for crying out loud. What else? Take care of your gear. Don't be an asshole. That's about it, really. My name is John Strohmeyer, Pathos 2 security operative. I got an office at Theta. Come see me if you got any issues you can't handle yourself. Good luck. It doesn't look like you, man. That voice doesn't match you. Okay, so I have the uh, ability to... It's like a master key card with the Omni tool if I can get the chip on, but I don't have that. How do I take this out? 
back. Okay. Uh, can I get you out? Inventory. Okay, unknown contamination. Okay. Omnitool. Alright, let's get out of this. Can I grab you back? I cannot. How come I cannot grab it back? Why? Is there a punch out button? Is there a button that says stop it? Oh! Add that chip, huh? What is this doing? Oh! Yay! Manage tool chip. Welcome back. Government tools are perfect condition. Run an update for confirm. Update. Security okay, level three. Now, I don't know exactly... Now I can open stuff? Now I can open stuff, okay. I don't know if I... I can't do anything with those. Okay, so that was the only one, that's fine. So, I don't know where exact... Where exactly it goes, what's over here? Okay, pilot seat number three. In progress, pilot status, no pilot. Sync pilot black box, connection status, offline. Everything is, oh boy. That's some encrypted shit right there. Okay, yep, I'm just gonna go ahead and back out of that, thank you. Uh, reports. Pilot reports uh, take place, uh, so we can reported uncharacteristic Levels of nausea after the mission. Diagnostics show a spike of electromagnetism surrounding the pilot helmet, which is believed to be the cause of Simken's symptoms. No indication to what created this anomaly. Attention, the pilot system has been increasingly unreliable. Everyone who's been using it the last couple of months has been having headaches and spells of nausea. Last week, Gavin was knocked out for 30 hours when trying to direct a helper cluster. This is not acceptable. We will figure this out. But for the time being, I'm shutting down the usage of the pilot system. This means you will have to do this do some more heavy lifting, performing the operations through programming or physical labor. No one is happy about this, so don't bother complaining. Yeah. I certainly wouldn't be happy about that either. Okay, so let's go ahead and try to get out of here. See what kind of doors we can open with the Omni tool. I don't necessarily know. So it's not an actual system of tools. Rather, it's, uh... This looks dangerous. Is this going back to the beginning? I can't remember. Okay! What? Yep. This looks like something I don't want to deal with. Right now. I'm just following where the light came from. Stupid idea, I know. I need a map. That is not a place I want to go, although I don't want to go over here either. I hear you walking around up there. What are you? Ah. Oh, Jesus ah, Christ! Shit. God damn it. Okay. Hello. I don't know where to bring this tool. Oh, okay, we're back over here, I think. Yeah. Okay, so this is where that led to. So we're pretty much going in a circle. Now, I didn't go over here yet, did I? Oh, no, I did. This is where I got the Omni tool. Okay. Did I miss anything over here? I don't think so. I'm just running around bravely because I'm scared. Don't... Oh, my God. I thought there was a person standing there. Okay. I'm starting to see things now. Probably should go easy on uh, myself. How do I open this? Can I open this? I don't think so. Oh, wait. Can't touch the- God damn it. I'm sorry. Okay, nothing over here. I gotta go down. Down is where I need to go. Alright. Yeah, take the alternate path. That's fine. Here we go! Swipe the Omni tool. Hell yeah! Can we close that bitch now? Damn it. Oh, this is nice. It's a little bit brighter in here. Oh! See now, had I not known that we were underwater, this would be a great reveal. Uh, and I kind of ruined it for you guys. Haha, <laughs> sorry. Ooh, 
we are underwater. And there's all kinds of weird drawings of fish that are probably mutated. We are deep. How is this not caved in yet? How thick is this glass here? Is there any wildlife? There is. Oh my god. Wow, this is beautiful. Yep. yep. Okay, we are definitely Atlantis here. We are sunk to the bottom of this shithole. But it looks beautiful. Uh, this is a nice reveal, again, if I hadn't already known that we were on the bottom of the Atlantic. It's very beautiful. It's actually brighter than I imagined it would be at the bottom of the ocean, but, you know, what do I know about it? Anyway, I gotta go ahead and pause it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying it so far. This game is going to be fantastic, and I hope you guys stick around to see the rest of it. Again, if you want to see it with no commentary, there will be videos accompanying these uh, with no commentary at all. It's going to be episodic as well, uh, and then... We'll just play it till we beat it. Hopefully you guys enjoy. If you did, you know what to do. Like, share, favorite, and subscribe if you haven't already. I love you all, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!